Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. Before we get started, I'd like to say that I am an aspiring YouTuber. And if you're watching this, chances are that you are an aspiring YouTuber as well. So if this video sucks, tell me all about it in the comment section down below. But if it helps you out in any way, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel because it really does mean a lot to me. Alright, enough chit chat, let's make ourselves a thumbnail. But before that, pop quiz. Which of these thumbnails is the best? A, B, C, or D? I'll give you a second to think about it. Well, the truth of the matter is, there is no best thumbnail, but I'll tell you right now, D is going to get the most views. That's just how it is. But I'd like to think that there's still hope for the world, so I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail like this. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's make ourselves a thumbnail. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is some pictures. So you can either go to Google Images and just kind of search for stuff, but I think the best way to do it is just use the Brawlhalla wiki. So what we're going to do is we'll just go Brawlhalla. Uh, first, let's get a background. So we can just use, let's use Shipwreck. Shipwreck's a cool map. So if we go there, we'll find the image, click it, get it as big as possible. Uh, you're going to notice the resolution isn't great. 864 by 486 but you know that'll be plenty good for what we're using it for so we'll just save that as shipwreck falls looks good to me uh, next we're gonna need typically you want like a like one maybe two I mean you can have a couple characters but you want them big and covering the screen it just looks good uh, so let's do that let's go back a bit uh, since we're doing shipwreck let's get Thatchy, Thatchy the pirate, and we're gonna open that up. And you could use a picture like this. Uh, these could be cool too, just depending on what you want, you know, what your video is about. But let's see if we can find. So these, these are a little bit spicier, you know. They're gonna get a little bit more attention, right? It's not your everyday thatch. Uh, we'll go with the biker thatch. I think the biker thatch, yeah, I can't even say that, biker thatch looks pretty cool. So we'll grab him, save as thatch biker, good enough for me. And that's really all the images we'll probably need for this thumbnail. Alright, so next we're going to open up GIMP. Uh, GIMP is just a free photo editing app. Uh, if you don't have it, get it, it's great. Just go to like GIMP.com or whatever. Uh, you'll find it, it shouldn't be too hard. It, works great you can use other stuff but I'm gonna be showing you how to do it in GIMP so first let's just open up this shipwreck falls we'll just drag it right in here and again the image isn't great resolution but it'll be fine for our thumbnail because the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take it we're gonna go to filters blur and we're gonna blur it and that wasn't quite blurry enough so we'll just do that a few times until you get your desired blur you can shortcut it with control F too. But the reason we're doing this is because this is a background image. We want it to be in the background. It's not gonna be the focus. So we're kinda, when you blur it, like the eyes pay less attention to it. It just looks good. Uh, this next step is optional, but I think it spices it up a bit. Uh, ironically, I just said we want this in the background, but it kinda makes it, kinda makes it pop more, kinda fit with the, uh, the overall thumbnail more we're gonna go to brightness contrast and if you add a little bit of contrast you don't want to do a lot just a little bit it makes it look it makes it I guess pop more I don't know if that's the right word for it but it makes it a little bit more more you you want to click it more you know what I'm saying uh, don't do too much don't get carried away you know get it like this that looks a little bad to me uh, Something like this. I mean, depending on what your video is, you know, you can adjust it for you. I like to add just a little bit of contrast, so we'll go with 20. I mean, now if you look at the regular, it looks kind of lame. Uh, we'll just get 20 contrast. I think that's pretty good. And that's about it for our background. All right, so next we're going to add Thatch to our picture. He's going to be the main attraction. He's going to be getting your attention. So I'm just going to let go of this and drag my Thatch in here. Uh, let's move him around a little bit. So you can adjust the size, however, that's a pretty good size in my opinion. Uh, we'll let the top go a little off, we'll let the sides go a little off, maybe something like that. 
something that's just gonna it's gonna get your attention right this is looking like a pretty decent thumbnail already uh, now there's a couple things you can do here we could add someone else on the other side we could add some weapons we could add the brawlhalla logo up here but what I'm gonna do is make the thumbnail for this video so this video is gonna be called how to make a brawlhalla thumbnail so that's what my text is gonna be we're just gonna grab the text tool here and just make a decent sized text box we're not gonna worry about the font or anything yet so I'll just put how to make a Brawlhalla thumbnail add an exclamation mark just makes it a little bit a little bit more exciting right so we're gonna do that uh, I feel like this is gonna go over already so I'm gonna make this two lines and we're gonna make the font size we'll try 50 it's not bad that's not bad uh, we do want to get these probably on the same line Gonna have to adjust that text box a little. I mean, this part's just making it fit, making it look appealing. So let's work on that. So that's not too bad. Uh, the font currently is pretty boring. What you can do though is if you highlight the font and we click over here, we hit text. If you click this little box in the bottom that says open the font selection dialog, for me, it's going to open over here. Uh, I had to set it to that. It might open down here. But pretty much from here, you can click the fonts and then just use your arrow keys to cycle them. That actually looks pretty good. But don't stress the font too much. Just don't do something stupid like this. Uh, you know, something that, just, something that just fits your video, I guess, your theme. So I'm just going to go through these. Again, not a huge deal which one you pick. I actually like that one. I remember that. Sigo. Sigo with heavy italic. But I mean, not a big deal. Just cycle through them until you find something that fits your video. So this font kind of fades into the background. Uh, it's not quite as. What's the word? It's not quite as visible as I'd like. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it by color, which is that icon up there. We're going to click the font and we're going to go to select. And we're gonna go grow and we're just gonna make it grow by two pixels so now we have kind of this border around all the font and we're gonna make a new layer so we're gonna go layer new layer and we'll just call it text grow so this is our text grow and in this layer we're gonna try to make it pop a little bit we will just go oh, excuse me I'm not even explaining myself but we're gonna fill it with this paint this paint bucket tool so we're gonna take this we're gonna make it white and we're just gonna fill it up and you're gonna be like hey you just ruined the thumbnail well we just gotta drag it down here so drag it below the other layer and that looks a little bit better uh, we can mess around with it more if we want to I'm going to Yeah, I'll show you how to do that. So we'll take that, our text grow layer, and it looks okay like that. But if we go to filters while we're on that layer, we hit blur, we go to Gaussian blur. This is how you can get kind of like a glow effect. So we're gonna find our text right there. Change it to, again, a lot of this is trial and error to just see what looks the best for you. I'm gonna change it to 12. And that's how you can see we got this like, well, that's way too much. You have this glow effect going on and it looks pretty good. Makes it pop a little more. Uh, let's try and do that on thatch. So for thatch it's a little different. We can't select them by color because he's a bunch of colors. But what we can do is we'll just go transparency, alpha to selection. We go all around thatch. Uh, select, grow. We'll grow by, we'll go by four pixels for thatch. Layer new layer we'll call this thatch grow we're gonna fill it with our paint bucket we're gonna drag it under thatch now he's got that little white border around him we're gonna hit select none we're still on uh, thatch grow over here filter blur gaussian blur again we're just gonna play with it it's a little bit bigger so we'll go that might be much we'll try 25 right off the bat and that's looking pretty good. It's got that little glow around him. I really like how it looks. Uh, 
we're missing a little bit of something down here so what I'm actually gonna do is throw in a platinum border I mean you know if you want to feel bold you can go ahead and throw in the diamond border but I think the platinum looks pretty good and mine is not super high quality but it does need to be bigger so I'm gonna go to layer scale layer width of 300 we'll see how that looks that's a good size and I'll throw that there I think that looks pretty good uh, it looks a little plain around the border so we're gonna click the border and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go layer transparency alpha to selection we've got it selected now select grow I'm gonna do I'll go with three pixels just to spice it up a little layer new layer we'll go with border glow just fill that with the white drag it underneath select none and now we have that kind of looks weird with it now but once we have the glow effect it should look a lot better so we're on that we'll go filter blur Gaussian blur uh, Go with something like 15, kind of just throwing it out there. Bam, we've got our little blur, our little glow. I think that looks pretty good, and we're going to call that good. The only thing I might try to do is change this text color a little bit, but for the purpose of this video, hopefully that helped you out. Again, mess around with it, make it actually relate to your video. Don't just throw in fidget spinners, hoverboards, anything else. Uh, you know, make it relate to your video, make a good video, and hopefully this will help you guys make, well, it won't make your Brawlhalla videos better, but it'll make more people click them, it'll just look cleaner up front, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, uh, like I said before, if you're an aspiring YouTuber such as myself, I'd appreciate it if you liked, commented something positive, and subscribed to the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Oh my gosh, I literally feel so stupid right now. I said how to make Brawlhalla thumbnail. Uh, sh should I just leave that as the thumbnail for this video? <laughs> how to make Brawlhalla thumbnail?